My name is Jared Tate. Uh, my story started in 2012. In 2013, after going through the core protocol, I saw some issues, thought we could improve some things, and that led to the creation of Digibyte. But how many people in here have, have mined Bitcoins before? How many people in here have thought about mining? Well, I could tell you, if you look at these pictures, this is what you're competing against. You're, you're competing against basically companies that have been given funding directly from the Chinese government. So there is effectively a monopoly of Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining in China as we speak. So what does this really mean? I'm probably going to catch flack for saying this, but this is the absolutely truth. And I could tell you with 100% certainty, right now, the Chinese government has the ability to kill Bitcoin. This is because of the flaw in the bug in the Bitcoin difficulty adjustment system. The, the block timing for Bitcoin is supposed to be every 10 minutes, right? Well, how do you maintain that? Well, the problem is that adjustment in the difficulty of those, those problems only occurs every 2016 blocks, which if Bitcoin block timings stay at 10 minutes, that should take two weeks. But the point is, if there was a major power outage, or if the Chinese government came in and shut down all miners in China, you would literally have days, perhaps weeks between blocks, which means that when that next adjustment occurred, it might not occur for a few months. Is that short? Yeah. It does look insane, but I mean, I could pull up a chart of Bitcoin, it would look pretty insane. Well, you, could pull, up a, you could pull up a chart of Digibyte bottom. coin, which is used in this, and you'd find that you'd have a lot of money to be made. So you just gotta know where to look. What you know the normal in terms of the cryptocurrency that would be used for money, what would that be? Would it be Bitcoin or would it be something else, Bitcoin Cash or some other crypto out there? Currently where Bitcoin is, Bitcoin is not ready to be a currency. It's not fast enough, it can't scale enough, the blocks are too small, they clear themselves every 10 minutes. So Bitcoin currently is not a currency. And I think that there are other blockchains and other applications that have characteristics that are much more suitable to be a currency, to clear quicker. Well, for one, Digibyte, for example, clears every 15 seconds. But I want to show how it works, show how easy it is to use the Digi ID. So, boom, now I'm on my website, I want to log in. What do I do? I just go onto my wallet here and go down to Digi ID. Boom, scan it, and enter my PIN, and now we're logged in. Digibyte is actually doing it. That's the crazy thing about Digibyte. There's all of these other blockchains, all of these other projects going on that are promising big results, promising game-changing results. Well. Digibyte is just doing it. Digibyte is making things happen, and I'm really excited. I'm really proud to be a part of the Digibyte community. Well, uh, thank you for having me here today. I uh, appreciate you guys coming. I know it's uh, late in the evening, so I'll try not to, uh, to bore you too much. Um, my name is Jared Tate. I'm the founder of the Digibyte blockchain. So DigiShield, like I said, we developed, has now been implemented in everything from Zcash to Bitcoin Cash to dozens of other blockchains. Next thing we did was our multi-algo hard fork. So uh, in the fall of 2014, we actually split from one mining algorithm to five. And then also, uh, Digibyte from 2017, last year, we actually were the first major altcoin to activate SegWit via um, a software. So we did it before Litecoin um, and, and Bitcoin and others. Uh, 
Now, the reason I was able to achieve this goal so easily is because before I was even finished with my business plan, um, I was contacted by the team over at Digibyte and they were actually one of the first supporters of this project. We don't know if you're gonna choose Digibyte as the currency that you're gonna use for this project. They said, it doesn't matter. We wanna get behind this project because we believe it's good for the overall crypto community and we believe in what you're doing. So without any questions, the Digibyte community gave me a very large amount of Digibyte to go and basically spend anyway. Visited that I some of the children's orphanages and the community centers and we just asked them what they need and we asked them what's going on. And I was really lucky in this trip because Digibyte had given me uh, a few thousand dollars to go and spend and the only instructions they told me was go and spend it where it's needed the most. I'm going to, okay, this is my phone, A, and I will be sending 1,000 Digibyte to B. And these are um, both iOS phones. 1,000 Digibyte. Send, all right. And it's sent. It, oh my god, that was like in like two seconds, or like one second. <laughs> that was awesome. Um... Hello Digibyte, my name is Derek, a xenobiologist, aka Digibyte White. I just wanted to take this time to thank everyone in the community for all the support that we've been getting to let you guys know that you, the people, make all of this possible and that together we will build a new world, a decentralized world, a DigiWorld. Go Digibyte! My name is Noah. This is a quick video shout out just to say who I am. I'm an Android engineer. I've been working on the Android DigiWallet. It's live on the Google Play Store right now. That's DigiID. It's very awesome. It's been a long road. We've been doing some wonderful things. And frankly, we're going to keep doing wonderful things. DigiByte is what it is. It was what it was. And it's heading in only one particular direction. Every true DigiByte fan out there knows what it's capable of. And all of us here at Digibyte and Digibyte community know what it's going to be. So stay involved, stay tuned. The best is yet to come. So it's really nice and simple, really easy to get the setup and using as well. And it's really fast, really secure. And we can't wait to show you more about DigiID. Hi everyone, I'm Josiah from the Digibyte Foundation and I want to take this chance to thank everybody who was involved with the Digibyte project, both behind the scenes and publicly. To our community, to the developers, to those who share our vision for the future, or if you have only newly discovered what Digibyte is all about, I want to thank you for being part of this with us. Hi guys, this is Bogdan Alexandru, the creator of this video. I had a blast editing this one and I really wanted to make something special for the community and I hope you like it. If you wish to contact me, just find me in the addresses below. And yeah, cheers!